Ha! Yes! Accept the Hydra Boa Boss! Wow, 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 The Nath! Let me in the Discord. I need to see what I want to do. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jurassic World Alive, where we are playing uh, the Hydra Boa Boss. Now, this thing has just came out. Um, I, lo I know literally nothing about it. So, we're going to leave it up to my team to carry. Uh, I need to know what I'm actually doing. Uh, <laughs> what's this dragon? Ooh! Oh, interesting. So, what's that? An irritated Gen 2 and a Majungasaur. Not the first time we've seen Majungasaur. Uh, hold on, I need to, I need to see what I'm going. I'm assuming I would go for the group hit, right? I mean, that's what I do. Nothing else goes for a, a multiple hit. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the group hit. Um... So, oh, my voice could break. <laughs> um, we have got actually some really big news. Um, not only do we have this new boss, and it's another snake. Like, didn't we have the the new, what was it called? Um, the, the other snake. Um, the Dilophoboa looking thing or whatever. No. Isn't that a recent one? And now we get the Hydra? Which, I, I don't know. I, th I was thinking that the Hydra was going to be something different. Um... So sorry, I've been away for the weekend. I come back, and we're doing it. It's all go. It's all go, guys. Oh, it's so much fun. Uh, but there's also being uh, either there has been an update. I haven't actually checked. Um, but um, the 2.9 update it brings loads of uh, new things. And once we do this Hydra Boa boss, we will jump into that quickly, go through it all. Um, also, I have a level 30 Scorpius. Rex! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> uh, this is the first time I've seen a... Ooh, what's this thing? Is that the... Bo what's it called? Schoonosaurus? That's not Schoonosaurus, is it? It must be. It must be Schoonosaurus. Or is that the... Isn't this the Schoonosaurus? Damage increased minion. That's a Schoolosaurus. So there's a Schoonosaurus and a Schoolosaurus? Okay. Right, so... First thing... First impressions... First, out of the way, I'm using a Molten Rex, so I get the feeling that this isn't a, a boss that's, like, too crazy to take on. Raw Ramp. Um, in, what was that? Rampage. Well, Rampage is now. Fierce Rampage, or just Fierce Impact. Uh, I, I guess, do I just go for the biggest one? Rampage? We'll go for that. Let's go for B1, eh? Yeah! <laughs> um... I, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's, I'd been away for the weekend, and I couldn't, like, do the, um, the, uh, the, the Hast Eagle. I couldn't do that one, and I couldn't do the Dilophoboa one either, that hybrid. Bit of a shame. Can't be helped, though, really. Um, you know, sometimes, I mean, that's with life, right? Sometimes you can't be everywhere all at once and do everything you want to do. Um, and, I, like, I think I missed... That's the first time I missed the Hast Eagle and the Dilophoboa thing. And... It is a bow, right? Oh no, it's not a Dilopha. It's not. A, it's not a snake. It is the Dilophosaurus. That's it. There's gonna be so many. It's gonna be so many people before like. It's not a snake beaver. It's a Dilophosaurus. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what it is also. Why can't we have more frigging bosses that are only two rounds? I'm sorry, Ludia, but. Not all of us have hours and hours to spend on just playing the game. Um, is this it? Is this the impact? Yes. Yes. I guess I don't have to cleanse because I'm not debuffed by anything. So so it's raw, big, little. I like it. I like doing, um, what was it, uh, raids when I don't have to pay too much attention. They're great. <laughs> so instant invincibility. Does it have a taunt as well? Okay, so it's basically going to do nothing. Okay, and then I basically finish it. Nice! Nice! I haven't even paid much attention to what kind of attacks this thing has. Um, so when you hit it, it increases its own attack. Right, that's interesting. That's the, it's really the first time that we've seen, or second time I should say, apart from recently, Alert Coil, that's what it is. Um, that we've seen a dinosaur, or a boss I should say, that if it gets hit, it gives itself buffs. I mean, we always see like the counter for other things. Uh, like what if you if you hit it, then it'll de decelerate you or something like that. But we've never seen where if it gets hit, it buffs itself. That's quite an interesting um, interesting uh, concept, I suppose. 
I like it. It's got quite nice animations. I like it. I like it a lot. I do. I love it. So we're going to do... I think pretty much this is just... Uh, as a Mortem raid, that's all I need to go for. I think Toro... Yeah, it's going to go for the speed buff. And then it needs to go for the heal. Probably the group heal. If, 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 if most of the team is on a low enough health that they definitely need that heal. I would say. And a level 20 Schoolosaurus. Um, in a raid like this? Pretty decent. I wonder if... The, oh my god, that was bloody close. Uh, you really need a tanky Toro. Wow, that's a level 30. Woo! Okay, so the crit comes in and then it's obviously going to do the counter. Majungasaurus. Whoa, nasty. Nasty little bugger. Okay, so the boss is going for a... Oh, he, okay, he's just wasting his turn. He's getting a shield and then increasing its attack and then debuffing us. Something like that. But there is loads of... I can't, I can't wait to go over this other stuff because... There's some big changes coming to a lot of the dinosaurs that are quite highly, highly, <laughs> highly used. <laughs> I can say the word. Um, and I, I was trying to think to myself, if I was Lodia, and we've got all these unique dinosaurs that nobody uses anymore, um, does, that, does that just mean, like, oh, it's Bionic's not Irritator that's there. Oh, bless it. Look at it dead. Barely bleed, breathing. Um, I would look at those uniques that aren't being used and think, t how can they be better, you know, integrated so that people actually want to use them? Uh, yeah, the heals, the heal definitely sorely needs to come. It's a shame that we don't have any damage increases and I'm a bit worried. Um, I'm very worried about the, uh, oh, it nullifies it. Oh, perfect. Right, so that's why school is here because it nullifies. Whoa! Yeah, nice. So I am going to hit it, which means it will get its big alert coil. But then the Schoonosaurus. Schoonosaurus? Schoonosaurus? It's a snake. <laughs> um, nerfs it, but then it will also... I mean, it's 75% it takes it down to, I think. Uh, but it resists it anyway. And then it also gets its increase. So um, I'm trying to remember what's... Schoonosaurus isn't a worry here. But yeah, I, I, I miss the days of when we just... Oh, 2,800. That, it didn't get a crit. Oh, we did get a crit. I think that might... I think that might require a restart. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you, you really need that tanky. Wow, you need that tanky Toro there. Well, join us for the same where we'll do it again. Okay, you join us back at the start of round two. We're, we're doing the same strategy, apparently. Um, and, well, we'll see. So far, the um, the Hydra Boa hasn't got a crit, so maybe that could help. And, I mean, the Tora probably only needs to do so much damage to it and get maybe one heal off before it dies, and then I think we're good. I don't know. Also, why is it called a Hydra Boa? Why couldn't it just, why couldn't it have like three heads? We're going a bit crazy. We, you know, we got bum face here, the, the Schoolosaurus or sc Schoonosaurus, whatever it is. Why can't we have something similar? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this should... Oh, is that a crit? Yes, it was. Okay. Now, the first round, we almost killed it in round two. Uh, alert call. So we'll get the nullification this next turn. I'll go for big hit. But... I, it's, it seems like the only thing you really need is the level 20, well, yeah, apart from, you know, a crazy big Mortem Rex like I have. Um, and you need a really tough Toro. And that, I think it's pretty, a lot of people will have to, or will probably want to be carried as the level 20 Schoolosaurus, I think. Um, which I guess is good and bad, we'll see. So this time he's going to go for, he's going to get nullified by a Schooler here. Look at all those buffs, you ready? <gasps> God. Oh, what satisfying that is. <laughs> and then in comes the help. Would be really good if you could get a little bit more. A little bit more. I mean, maybe if somebody who uses a Toro, Toro Moloch in comp, like competitively, has one with good attack and good health, then maybe that could be used. I'm really not too sure. Um, and then, we're, of course, we'll distract it here a little bit. Now, how much damage will it get? So it gets distracted here. What does it have? Uh, let's have a look. So, what, 2,500 attack? So, do 5,000 damage, I'm assuming, possibly? Uh, where, 2,000... Oh, only just... Yeah, 2,500. Okay, so it's like, like a regular hit. And he didn't get a crit. And... 
How come we're doing a lot better this time? Or do we die next time? Next turn? I think we died this turn. Didn't we? I think we did. I, th I think we died first time. So here we go. Invincibility. So it's not going to do anything. And what's that? Is that attacking someone with the highest health? Lowest HP. Okay, that'll be the schooler. But because of the taunt, I think it doesn't make a difference. It'll just go for the schooner score. Sorry. Schooner, 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 schooner. Oh, there's a freaking rave in the background there. You see that from the hotels? It's, it's, it's. I like neon colours. Very pretty. <laughs> yes. And we've got a little bit of a shield. Uh, maybe that... Will that... Oh, that's a taunt as well. Oh, interesting. They both went for taunts. So... But maybe it doesn't have the least amount... No, it will have the least amount of health, right? Or is it above my health? It might have been just above my health. Either way, it's dead. There you go. So let's see what happens here. Um, I mean, I'm assuming the taunt will happen. He's got a lot more attack. Idea. Oh, oh, did it... Was that an invincibility or a shield? Oh, oh, it even got the crit. And it regenerated zero. Oh, that would be a pain in the butt, wouldn't it? If it regenerated back to half health. <laughs> oh, that would suck. Okay, so the final round. Here we go. Surely, even if we lose one now, does it make much of a difference? I, d I don't know. I don't think so. Basically, Majungasaurus and Byronix are dead. But it depends... Instant distraction, okay, and that's a group instant distraction. That's good. Although it doesn't outspeed the Turamo. Oh. Alright then. <laughs> and the camera goes. And we're back in the room again. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately the Turo does outspeed the um the schooner. Schoolosaurus, so it will get hit by this counter at full pelt. Well, I guess I guess the shield's up. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's not too bad. Now we get this. I don't think this does any damage, so we'll no get no counters here. But that's not too bad. That's no too bad. The shield's still on that. Um, but I hope it only lasts one turn. I'm assuming it'll probably only last one turn, that dodge thing. Uh, I mean, we can easily find out, right? We just have to click it. Uh, or not. The Hydro Bow, please. No. No, don't want to click it. How about now? Can we can we click it now? No. Okay. Okay, we're not allowed to. So this should kill. It doesn't get a crit, but hopefully... Yep, there they go. Beautiful. But he's got loads of debuffs. Why has he only got buffs? It can only show four at a time. It probably can only show four at a time, can't it? And then the minions don't get to do anything. And now... Oh, he's not going to be faster. He's been decreased. Um, there's no point in me going for anything but the biggest hit, right? What does mine do? Highest HP, remove taunt and remove shield. Okay, so that's what it does. Remove, I mean... I don't think I've ever came in a circumstance where... Oh, thank God it removes that taunt. Oh, yes. I mean, I guess because most of the time you're doing single battles, right? Some good ideas I've thought would be like if Ludia implemented, of course, the rotation battles or multi mul multiple battles with like friendly people or something like that. But there needs to be a good reward for people to do that. Because, I mean, as, as it stands with the game, it's, there's only so much communication you can do without the use of third, you know, outside apps like Discord. Um, in order to really communicate and interact with other people, because otherwise it's it's kind of clunky, and you ha you can only interact with people in your alliance. You can't just find randomers online. No crit, that's good, and everyone survives. Brilliant! Oh, we're gonna do it. What are we thinking? I want to see a good 25. 25's a good one to get. I'm hoping, hoping fingers crossed, we we'll get to 25. Oh, what is that nonsense? What is that move? Hold on, I need to. Uh, that's new. Uh, venomous bite, uh, highest damage, precise attack, so it goes through any cloak, does 4,100 damage, and 0.4 for two turns. So, you're basically dead. Yeah, yeah, but you're basically dead in two turns, unless you have a heal. But we've pretty much done it. Instant invincibility. Oh, of course we outspeed it, don't we? I like the two. What's going on here? Is it immune to bleed? Oh, it's not. Okay. No, it doesn't make a difference. It's dead anyway. Um... And I think I'm going to get the killing hit on it. Ooh, yes, I think so. I think there's going to be a tiny bit of health left here. Just a tiny bit. But there you have it. Not one of the hardest bosses if you've got the right dinosaurs, like a chunky Turamolok, an incredibly attack heavy Mortem Rex, and uh, a Schooler. But the Schooler's not really needed. And you know I, you know what? The the Schoonosaurus. The Schoonosaurus. It's pretty much just like a perfect team here. 
Alert coil. Increase attack. Yes. And the final blow. Oh, and a crit. No, snakey. Okay, the death animation's kind of the same. Okay. And there you go. We made it all through. Everyone survived. And now the best part to figure out that I haven't been recording this whole time. Brilliant. So let's see. What do we get? Velociraptor. No source. Come on, 25. I'll take 20. Yeah, you know what? I'll take 20. It's a cunning creature. Ooh. Okay. So if we go into here. I want to see if the new dinosaur has the update beam. I don't think it has because I will have... Um, Prop, I, yeah, I don't think it has. Yeah, it's only so. I haven't done Hast Eagle and the Dilophosaurus, but now we have the Hydra Boa. Really wish it had multiple heads, but I understand why they didn't. Because <laughs> it would have been a pain in the ass to rig an anime. Pretty sweet. Uh, this gargantuan boa is named after the many headed serpent slain by Heracles in Greek mythos. The name was chosen by ancient scientists due to a special characteristic of the massive snake scale. Unlike those of the other species, the scales of the Hydra's boa's head and neck grow thicker and brighter each time the snake molts, as if the creature were growing a new head each time. Ah, that's the cop out excuse. Okay. <laughs> so that's why it doesn't have a, a, a three or four heads. Okay. So let's jump in to the update that will be coming soon and all of the new wonderful creatures that are coming. Okay, so here is the release 2.9, the tiny flyer update. So let's have a look. So we have new creatures. We have the Colvosaurus of the Co 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 Colosaur Colosaurus. Jesus, that's a, that's a long one, isn't it? Prehistoric flying is actually more of a glider. I think that this, I've seen this guy in, was it Primeval? I've definitely seen in something else. Uh, cunning and hit and run uh, absorb the damage to outlast high damage opponents. So alert boost and absorb are its uh, abilities, I think. They're an alert flock. Are they? One, are the four attacks there? Is it? Yeah, it might be four attacks. So it's got alert the flock. Uh, I'm assuming that is gain some health back and uh, some evasive. And destruction and impact and run. The other one is the Archaeopteryx, one of the most famous feathered dinosaurs. Once thought to be the earliest bird that ever lived. Archaeopteryx name means ancient wing. Though tiny, this bird has a giant history. Uh, what? Has a role of history and it's soft science. This was, I don't know what that is. Helping to prove the theory of evolution. Only two years after Darwin's uh, uh, On the Origin of Species was first published. Uh, Archaeopteryx is cunning destruction dodger. Use Archaeopteryx absorb and dodge to outlast. Uh -huh. Archaeopteryx's cleansing abilities will also allow you to remove negative status effects. So as absorb, alert on escape evasion. Oh, so I think this is this must be a switch out. Uh, alert buff and strike. Evasive impact and dip, di oh, that's a deplayed, delayed cunning rampage. And the another one, um, because we haven't really made too much use of the uh, sloth animation, let's be honest, is the Megalonyx. Uh, this giant ground sloth went extinct 11,000 years ago, which really isn't that long if we think about it. Early humans may have been had something to do with it. Ah, of course, of course we did. Um, <laughs> uh, since cut marked. What? Since cut marked bones on the megalings in Ohio indicate it was hunted by Ohio Paleo Americans. So it has a maximum counterattack, so it does its full damage when it gets hit. Camela camouflage on escape. So when a dinosaur or another creature escapes, it gets camouflage ability. Okay. Cunning strike. A priority camouflage. I think camouflage is always priority. And a cautious rampage. And a new hybrid, the Kulhast. So that's the eagle and the new uh, lizard. Uh, unlike its hybrid parent, Colobosaurus, or whatever it's called, the Colhast can not only glide its wings, but also flap them to achieve true flight. It inherited this trait from its powerful Hast Eagle. Uh, so what does this guy has? Absorb, alert, roost. Interesting. Uh, precise piercing at, uh, strike. So just that's a regular, regular hit. Uh, fearless alert. So does it gain help there? Uh, precise impact and run. And restricted group distractions. So we've also got new abilities. We've got the cautious, cautious rampage. That We did just see that. I think that was... Who had the cautious rampage? I think it was the sloth. Yeah, the sloth had that cautious, cautious rampage. Uh, so increased speed by 10% uh, for one turn. 75% chance to dodge 66 point remove damage. Uh, target highest damage attack times two. Bypassing armor reduced damage by 50% for four attacks lasting two turns. Jesus. They got cleansing, decelerating impact. You got delayed cunning rampage. Uh, evasive wounding strike. Okay, adding an evasiveness to a wounding strike 
interesting and that does 0.2% of the max target's health piercing impact and run interesting that yeah the, never had that go through i mean these are all new uh, instant group in uh, distraction impact god there's a revenge definite rampage oh that's the biggest one on a revenge so normally i assume there's a delay of one but no uh, with a revenge it's straight away and it does the same amount of damage times two. Oh, i thought that was devastating was like the oh is that the times three for the turtles i think swap in lockdown uh unable to swap lasting two turns Target highest speed. Oh, okay. Um, alert, a buff, and strike. That's like kind of what the um, Schoolosaurus had, except for instead of nullifying, it's uh, something about crits and all these, like, this is stuff that only the flocks get depending on their health. Uh, fearless alert. We got counter power heal. Self heal 11% max HP after receiving and surviving damage. So the longer something survives, it just gets health every turn? Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, new raid boss, the giant ground sloth. Oh, that's it. Wait, the giant ground sloth Megalynx will enter raids on August 5th. So, it's this is a boss. I thought it was a rare. Hold on. Or is that Megalynx Gen 2 or something? It says a rare. Megalynx. Meg Megalynx, right? Am I... Maybe they got something wrong here. Megalongs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, new achievements, no harm, no foul. Place this creature in sanctuaries 13 times. Dodo. Okay, so we're going to be looking at that. Uh, what's improved? Yeah, they've done some improvements to AR. I don't really use it, but if you want to see it, it's there. Um, a bit, now we're getting to the interesting stuff. The ability updates and things like that. So I don't really use any of that. Resi There's been a lot of stuff to do with resistance. And I don't... Like, resistance isn't really a part of anything that I do. And now we get into the very interesting part. So, dinosaurs here have received changes. So there's a lot of vulnerability changes here. So, resistance 0%. So, now, like, there's resistances to the vulnerability. In fact, every dinosaur has had its kind of vulnerability changed. That's why, as we scroll down, you'll see there's, there's a bunch of different dinosaurs. Um, and stuff like Indominus Rex that had 100% now only has 50 uh, so we'll keep on going. And uh, something that actually got a load was Parasaurolophus Lux, which got an extra 50 attack, an extra 1,050 health. Big change on that. Um, and damage reduction resistance. Uh, so 0% to 50%. And ability added counter power heal. So the Parasaurolophus Lux now not only has 1,000 extra health, 1,050 extra health, but it heals 11% every turn. Maybe something to look out for. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, 11%, if we think about the meta now, isn't enough to make really much of a difference. Unless it can definitely survive it, like, something. But someone's going to swap in and kill it. Uh, Schoolosaurus, Tristorix, um, and um Definite Rampage changed to Revenge Definite Rampage. So it'll get it right off the bat if it's swapped in for Revenge. Making it maybe more useful. Earl of Dominus, a dinosaur that we never see really high up. Um, has had his vulnerability change from 50 to 25, so definitely won't see it anymore. Uh, <laughs> and not that, you know, this vulnerability is ever really used. I don't use Pookie, but there's that. Schoonosaurus, I don't really use that. Smilonemus has an extra two, 100 health. Uh, sorry, extra 100 attack, an extra 300 health, but its armor has been reduced from 50 to 40. And I'm kind of glad, because when I when I came up against a Smilonemus, I was surprised it was 50. I thought it was 40. I was like, 50 is a bit much. Um, another one I kind of would like to use, but eh, just because it's a snake, I'd be like, oh, that'd be cool to have your name a Spino Constrictor. So it's evasive stance changed to evasive wounding strike. So now it will not only evade, but now it will wound. Um, it's attack 200 extra attack and 600 extra health and it's speed from 122 to 126. One to keep an eye out now, actually. Now it's got those changes. Um, it's stun resistance has been increased to 75% from zero. And it's speed decrease resistance from 50% to 75 as well. Very good. Very good. Not only has, you know, it's got extra resistance to the speed decrease, but it's got its base increase speed. Sorry, it's speed base uh, done. So some good changes there. Um, these testicle orbits, we never see. I don't think I've ever seen this. Never faced up against it. Um, resilient impact change to cleansing disarming impact. And the ability added counter power heal. So this one also heals 11% every turn. Could be something to look into. Let's have a look at the other stats. It's got 100 less attack. So that's okay. Um, it's got an extra 150 health. 
not bad. It has one extra speed, which actually might make all the difference. Um, and its armor went from 40 to 45. Really, really played with the balances there uh, on that one. Thordor, a dinosaur that was used so much and is now very... Well, actually, no, it is used quite a bit. It is still, but it's it's not as good as it used to be. Um, fierce impact changed to group shattering impact. I think that's probably going to do about the same amount of damage as it affects a group now, which is actually making it more useful because we're going to see a lot more you know, flocks used, and that will hit everything. Mortem's very good for the roar that it can do. Only thing is it speeds quite slow, and it'll probably get... It won't be first. It'll get distracted, and it might not kill... It might kill one, uh, not two, which is what you want, really. Um, Thordo's attack's been increased by 50, and its critical chance is down 10%. And its vulnerability from 100 to 50. Not very good, but this is something I really like. I like this. Look, we've got Utaranix. I feel like I'm one of the only people that has ever used it. And the, to, be, to be honest, the only reason I keep on using it is because I got boosts on it. And you know what? It's not too bad. I don't mind the impact and run. And with so many swaps in now with the Model Orions, um, Sarah Magnus, you know, you get that, you get the right position of doing an impact and run, a rampage and run, and then swapping into a Sarah. You've got a dead, you got like a one turn kill there. So, Utaranix, 50 extra health. Great. It gets some armor from 0 to 10%. Beautiful. Uh, it's critical chance from 20% to 25%. Looking all great here. And it's damage reduction resistance from 50 to 75. Now, a lot of times, I I might not outspeed something and I'll get distracted. And it is it is a little bit of an issue, but still not too much because I've got the resistance to it. But now I've got even more resistance for the 75, so that's very good. Uh, Sarah Magnus, vulnerability, 50%, change to zero. Not much change there. Yeah, you'll still, still be using your Sarah Magnus, don't worry. <laughs> uh, Hadrosaur Lux, 100% resistance to 50% on vulnerability. Again, you're still going to use it, no changes. Mortem Rex, stun resistance, 75% chance to 50%. Now there's, a, now there's a greater chance of somebody swapping in a Sarah Magnus on a Monol Orion, Rhino, and you getting stunned. That is going to make a big difference. Also, it's vulnerability resistance change from 50% to zero. It's going to make much of it. It could. You know what? It might make a difference if something can do that vulnerability and then you swap in a Sarah or a Monol Orion. And then that's going to do a lot of damage. Um, other improvements, the dart inventory limit has been increased from 140 to 350. Thank God. I mean, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. It's a shame that you can't buy darts anymore. Uh, darts given in the daily free incubator have been increased. Okay. An option to disable a vibration for new creatures spawn on the map. Probably to save battery, especially on iPhones and stuff like that, which burn up anyway. Uh, but there you have it. Not only have we um, defeated the new Hydra Boa, uh, and now we've seen... All, oh, come on, scroll. Scroll, you book a scroll. And now we've seen all the updates that are coming. But if you might have been a keen eyed viewer just before, you'll also notice we have a level 30. We did it. We got there. Level 30, Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Still working on, you know, getting its, health, its attack up to 2200 or whatever it can get. Same with Mono Rhino. But I've got level 30. I'm pretty happy with it. I, I'm pretty, I'm well chuffed, me. <laughs> We've enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like. I will get straight back into editing videos. I've just come back from oh my god, like the the wrecked weekend, an absolutely wrecked weekend. So thank you everybody who has stayed up until this point. Maybe even if you don't like Jurassic World Alive, thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, and until next time, enjoy the video, leave a like, and I'll see you cuties later. Oh bye bye.